What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here. On this Thursday night, uh, it is November 3rd, 2022. About 7.50 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.8 here around the Java Trench. Actually, a 2. Point, uh, yeah, 2.8 there around the Java Trench area. Pretty shallow earthquake, about 10 kilometers deep. We have been seeing a little bit of uptick around this area uh, throughout the day today. Looking at the rest of the globe, a bunch of activity all over the place, if you really think about it here. Uh, of course, the newer earthquake activity going to be in the white rings. We have seen a noticeable increase here along the Middle America Trench and also down into the South America region where we're seeing a pretty good cluster of earthquakes on the EMSC model there on the globe. All right. Let's go ahead and start off here in the state of Texas, a 2.9 earthquake coming in to the Falls City, Texas area, about 15 kilometers deep. That's a pretty deep earthquake. Uh, see if this thing has been reviewed or not. It has been reviewed, so that's rather interesting there. A couple other earthquakes in a little cluster outside of uh, Karn City. Um, can't say I've ever been out in this specific area. But man, if you look, I don't even think I have to bring up the satellite image. Uh, all these titles here pretty much point, paints a picture. There's oil fields galore out here around these earthquakes. Uh, but for fun, kind of curious to see how many is out here. Uh, and there's definitely a bunch here next to all these earthquakes. Uh, let's see what we got here. Some of these, uh, definitely some houses out there, but for the most part, we're going to be looking for uh, these little square or rectangle type uh, drawings here. Not drawings, but uh, marks here on the land, on the surface. And uh, sometimes we see wastewater injection ponds such as down here uh, with this one. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. And it fit, it uh, this activity sits within a wealth of oil fields all over the place and they got their own each different name so a little bit of activity kicking up here um well inland and uh, normally a lot of times we'll see activity around the pecos texas area uh, but this one's kicking up uh, in an unusual area just outside of san antonio texas there so watch that pretty closely could be pointing to something much bigger uh, around this region. A lot of these oil pumping operations have been hit recently uh, with earthquakes. 2.0 in Missouri. This one uh, coming in last night time frame. Haven't really seen too much further activity around the New Madrid zone throughout the uh, uh, last 24 hours. Up here in Yellowstone. A couple listings up here on the map it looks like uh, from earlier this morning. Let's give it a quick glance here at Yellowstone's thumbnails as far as the seismograph readings go. And uh, definitely looks like it has backed off a little bit as far as any earthquake activity goes. We did see a little bit of spiky activity throughout the afternoon time frame and early evening. But it uh, looks like things are calming down pretty nicely in this area of Wyoming. See what else we got here through the Pacific Northwest. Uh, looks about the same as it did this morning. Maybe a couple smaller uh, microquakes around Mount St. Helens. No major activity. Uh, there's that earthquake out here around the Newberry Volcano. Had a couple small microquakes out there this morning, but that was about it. Not a whole lot. Uh, one earthquake out here around the Blanco Fracture Zone. That one coming in early this morning, about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock a.m. Haven't seen any further activity, though in that area uh, throughout this state here of california looking uh let me double fresh refresh this make sure everything's new uh, looks like the pyramid lake up here around nevada is starting to get hit a little bit with er earthquake activity uh, all microquakes and the bay area of california looks pretty calm for now not a whole lot some movement along the uh, calaveras fault zone and a little activity here around the creeping segment of the san andreas fault one earthquake here around the New Madrid zone near Tom's, or not New Madrid zone, but uh, Long Valley Super Volcano. A couple small quakes out there, it looks like. Uh, around the Ridgecrest area, things filling in a little bit, but nothing spectacular. 
not a whole lot of renewed activity kicking up here uh, north of this region. Most of the activity today has been south of the Garlock Fault shear zone uh, down into the Baja California area where we've seen a couple threes kicking off there earlier um, around lunchtime here along the west coast and uh, some activity up north as well throughout the San Jacinto Fault Zone. No major swarms though to take note of across the area currently. Just kind of watching it, seeing uh, if things are going to pick up. Uh, let's go ahead and give a quick glance at the trimmer map tonight along the Cascadia and that still currently shows nothing. Zip, zero, nada. Not a whole lot going on there with the trimmer activity currently. And we've come to a complete halt. Um, around, uh, let's see what else we got here around the region. Uh, again, South America is definitely showing a noticeable uptick in earthquake activity around this area. Uh, the USGS not really showing that because this is all uh, just going to be 4.0 and above. Some of those other earthquakes that are listed on the globe are from the EMSC and they're under the 4.0 uh, threshold. Out in the Atlantic Ocean, southern mid-Atlantic Ridge, seen a couple earthquakes earlier this afternoon within pretty much uh, about minute, a couple minutes of each other. Uh, divergent boundary out here and that should definitely uh, increase activity out here further west uh, along that Peru Chile Trench but also watch this area down here along the South Sandwich Islands for some further activity. Uh, up north into the northern Atlantic Ocean 5.4 uh, that one coming in earlier this afternoon time frame. A little bit more active here today across the Atlantic than what we've seen in the previous days. Uh, the big island, Mono Loa, definitely uh, picking up a little bit uh, throughout the afternoon. Time frame, some earthquakes up there. Some, uh, what do we have for deeper ones? Deeper the ones are going to be uh, about 2.7 kilometers deep for that one. And that looks like that's about it. And the reason why I'm kind of pointing out those deeper ones are because, or is because of the magma movement uh, that takes place down there at that level kind of a recharging of the system, so to speak. Uh, most of this activity relatively shallow, but when we do see the movement around uh, about two to four kilometers or so below the surface, that uh, means we got some stuff on the move down there around Mono Loa. And uh, I still think this is gonna be uh, kind of a big show soon. Just don't know exactly when. Uh, it's all kind of pointing towards it. Uh, we did do a, uh, let's do a quick check of the GPS measurements out here or the, uh, we'll start off with the seismographs here. And over the past 24 hours or so, earthquake activity still continuing around the Mauna Loa area. Some of this activity being picked up around the southeastern flank near Pahala, but uh, definitely activity continuing there. And yeah, we're watching that pretty closely. The GPS measurements here, we can pick out any one of these. Um, we'll go ahead and go with this guy right here, maybe. And this kind of gives us, us two years, 10 years. Uh, we can do the last two years of uh, vertical uplift right here. This is the vertical displacement up. And uh, this is in meters. Definitely showing that gradual rise. And it seems like since about September or so uh, of this year, we've definitely noticed a much stronger uptick in activity. And uh, that definitely could be because of what's going on below here. Getting ready to uh, charge up and possibly create um, an eruption here soon. So we'll definitely watch that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, still currently sitting at a yellow advisory stage here for Mauna Loa. Nothing has changed yet. No, nothing um, too much anyway. Uh, earthquake activity around Pahala. Very typical down there, southeastern flank here of the Mauna Loa region. Nothing within the last hour uh, there across the big island. Uh, a little bit of activity off the coast of Japan here. One of them from, uh, looks like earlier this afternoon time frame, about 36 kilometers deep there into the Japan Trench for a 4.3 earthquake. Kuro Kamchaka Trench, all pretty quiet. Mariana Trench, pretty quiet tonight as well. Uh, see if we got any newer activity in this area. It looks like uh, 4.9 around the Indonesia and also a 4.6 a little bit further up along the Philippine Trench. Uh, 4.6 at 67 kilometers deep for this area. 
a lot of this movement from much earlier this morning or last night. Uh, Vanuatu area looks like uh, most of this activity, except for one, uh, kicked off here about 5 o'clock my time, a 4.7 deep though at, at 220 kilometers. Not a whole lot going on across the Tonga Trench or the Kermadec Trench currently, but uh, again, the threshold there for the USGS uh, doesn't look like it was met. There is some threes, some lower grade fours in this area as well, but the majority of this activity, uh, even around the Solomon Islands and the New Zealand area, is older movement. Uh, so just kind of uh, taking a little break there, it looks like, on that uh, zone. There's that cluster of quakes there into the Chile area. Uh, some of it deep, some of it moderate uh, in depth as well. Looks like a couple threes and twos and some fours in there as well. Uh, so watch that zone closely. Uh, further west, a little bit of activity into the eastern Afghanistan region. Four o'clock uh, time frame, seen a 4.3. Into the mountains area, deep at 216 kilometers deep there. That's pretty, pretty uh, super deep one. Out in Turkey, it's in a 4.8 as well. That's kind of like the latest earthquake here within this area. Western Turkey, it looks like, uh, 4.8 at 10 kilometers. For that earthquake, uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, Yellowstone, we definitely checked that. There's not a, like I say, there's not a whole lot going on currently there. It looks like maybe things are mellowing out a tad bit in that region. Uh, let's check out the solar weather activity here. It still looks like they're calling for some uh, G1 storming across the board as far as the next couple days go. 55% uh, chance at the higher latitudes for aurora probability and 15 to 30 at the mid latitude. So we'll watch this. Right now, current conditions are pretty unsettled. Getting a uh, potential there at uh, seeing the aurora at some of the higher latitudes there across Canada. Greenland and definitely definitely into the Iceland area. Looking pretty promising. Um, far as any major solar flare activity, there's not a whole lot. In fact, the uh, recent data here looks pretty calm. Steady as she goes. Not a whole lot popping there for the uh, solar flare department. And looking at the sunspots themselves, the magnetic fields of all of them look like they are just decaying. Uh, there's nothing really promising at all here. Not even I don't even see a sea flare probability across any of these uh, currently. There is a new regional sunspot out here around the far northeastern limb of the sun. We'll watch for that in the coming days as it rotates further into view. Uh, these guys call in a 55% chance for a sea flare, 10% chance for an M flare, and 1% for an X flare. But uh, I think those may be just a little bit... Uh, too high, but that's okay. Um, coronal hole activity, of course, the conditions that we're seeing right now are from coronal hole 39. And doesn't look like there's any further coronal hole activity uh, coming up following this event. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here to the Mount Rainier um, seismograph stations here. Kind of want to see what we got. Haven't checked this in a little while up at Mount Rainier. Around the Camp Sherman area. Uh, let's see here. Kind of looks like earthquake activity. Some of it does uh, over the last couple hours, but I kind of want to see what the day looks like on this uh, chart here, on this graph, and we'll see what we uh, can pinpoint. Do, do, do. Yeah, a little bit of earthquake activity. Uh, these definitely look like some type of uh, seismic readings. Not that, but uh, definitely some other smaller quakes there in the uh, Mount Rainier area. That's kind of been an ongoing thing here, I think, for a couple days uh, across the area. Whatever this is seems to be triggered daily. Uh, something comes on, runs for a little bit. And then it shuts off, it looks like. So not for sure. Could be a generator. Could be, who knows what, ski lift. I don't know. But uh, definitely some seismic activity out there ongoing around uh, that volcano currently. Alrighty, uh, let's see what else we got. I think that's about it, folks. Going to make this just a little short video tonight. I uh, do hope everyone's having a good day. Good night. 
and um, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, just we got another earthquake down there in South America right now into the Peru Chile Trench. Middle America Trench pretty active there as well. I think that uh, maybe a couple regions to watch. We've kind of watched this migration of pressure on both sides of the plate here work its way down south uh, where it's currently at. Uh, with that deeper earthquake movement there in South America, that uh, 3.0 just coming in at 220 kilometers deep, uh, I think it's something maybe to watch here for some further activity upstream from that deeper movement. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe out there, and we will chat you guys another time. Peace out.